hi guys welcome back once again into the new edition of our discussion series uh, today in this session we are going to discuss a famous novel named a fine balance written by Rohinton mystery it was first published in 1995 and uh, in fact it is the second novel of mystery in this novel Rohinton mystery gives us a beautiful picture of Indian caste region society and the life struggle of all those people against hegemonic dominance. So without wasting much more time, let's begin our discussion. But before begin, I just want to tell you that this is a very big novel and it has many characters too. So, to understand this storyline, I just will try to say the entire story as per chronological sequence. I think that this chronology will help you to understand the entire storyline. At the very beginning of the story, we have a village where most of the Chamar people live. Chamars are those people who are often termed untouchable and uh, who have their own profession with the uh, beast skin, for namely leather. Uh, in this village there lived Dukhi along with uh, his family. Omprakas and Narayan are his two sons. And they belong to the Chamar caste by their own profession. And uh, this profession was really abominable to Dukhi. So he decided to change the profession and uh, that's why Dukhi sent his two sons to Ashraf Chacha as an apprentice for tailoring in a nearby town so that they can become tailor and uh, change their profession and gain economic proficiency, economic sufficiency in their own way. But the conflict begins when the villain of this novel appears, he is none but Thakur Dharamsi. Uh, he is a politician and accomplishes all kind of mischievous activities with his own manpower. In fact, he reigns a Gundaraj in this village. There arises a tussle between Thakur Dharamsi and uh, Dukhi family only because of the fact that Narayan asked for a ballot paper during election process. And uh, for this uh, courageous step and temerity, Thakur paid their family grim consequences. In fact, Thakur kills their entire family and burns their houses. But somehow, Om Prakas, the son of Narayan and his uncle, Isor uh, escaped the wrath of Thakur Dharamsi. Both uh, took shelter in a town in Ashraf Chacha's house, who in fact then tricks them very well. And uh, when Ashraf Chacha heard from them the entire consequences, they all together went to the police station to lodge their complaint. But uh, unfortunately, Thakur was so much uh, influential that uh, uh, the police did not take any kind of complaint. After a few days, Omprakas and Isra decided to move to Bombay to set work because they felt that in the house of Ashraf Chacha, they cannot do well in respect of their own economy. Moreover, they need to stand uh, of their own life so therefore, they decided to move to another place. Then Ashraf Chacha recommended them to go to Mumbai because there lives one of his friends named Nawaz. So Nawaz is another character in this novel who works in Mumbai as a Dorji and uh, he is also a close friend of Ashraf Chacha. So with the recommendation letter of Ashraf Chacha, Om Prakas and Isor uh, went to Mumbai and uh, there they met with Nawaz after uh, giving the recommendation letter. So Nawaz 
took them and uh, Nawaz also gave them a backside place to live there but uh, as but Nawaz is not at all willing to help them uh, because of his own economic constraint all day both uh, I mean Isor and Om Prakash searched a job but returned home hopelessly and as a result they were quite conscious of their own economy they slept at the back side of Nawaz house here they both faced the urban life congestion and the selfishness among the people while these two characters these two dorji were searching their job in this new town so now let's have a quick look into the another protagonist of the novel who is dina dalal so here we will learn the story of the dina dalal and then we will continue the storyline of this novel dina dalal is a very pivotal character in this novel in fact he takes the entire plinth of the novel with her the storyline of the novel uh, proceeds further dina dalal belongs to a parsi family and uh, her father was a doctor in fact dina dalal uh, was also willing to pursue the profession of doctor and she had strong ambition to become a doctor after completing her education but unfortunately at the age of 12 her father dies and as a result her dream shatters into pieces he leaves the process of learning and educating herself the entire responsibility of taking care of Dina Dalal comes to Nuswan. So Nuswan is another character and uh, he is the elder brother of Dina. Though initially and apparently Nuswan takes the responsibility of Dina, but uh, whenever Dina goes against the wishes of Nuswan, he beats her and misbehaves with her so this type of attitude this type of depressing oppression dina could not tolerate so therefore she decides to come out from the house of noson but how she could alone come out of this house as she had no income of her own so she was in search of a good person of her uh, life partner and in fact he find her life partner in the form of Rustam Dalal. Rustam Dalal is another character and uh, he is a chemist by profession. When Dina says no so on the entire affair with Rustam and uh, no one initially objects but later he accepts the proposal and uh, soon Dina Dalal and uh, Rustum uh, get married off. After marriage Dina and Rustum began to live in a flat house. Their life was smooth and easy going but suddenly misfortune comes to their life in the form of an accident. In the accident, Rustam dies while he was riding a bicycle. After Rustam's death, Dina became alone and uh, she even so was determined in her own attitude that she never gets into the house of her elder brother, Nuswan. Rather, she decides to learn of her own sustenance for life struggle. She learns tailoring and uh, somehow he sews some of the dresses and earns money. So here the process of learning, sewing, 
goes on and somehow Dina Dalal uh, continues her life. But uh, with the passage of time, her eyesight becomes very weak. So as a result, she could not continue her sewing profession. Gradually, her income began to fall. And we can see that there is another kind of operation of paying home rent in time. So he was in a critical juncture of her life. So he decided to uh, find out of this problem by searching the help of some tailor who could uh, swim dress for him. So here we can see that Dina Dalal is also in search of a tailor because he knew very well that if he gets the help of a tailor, surely then uh, he will have some money, he will have some commission and he will somehow manage her life. So far we come to know that Dina Dalal is searching uh, for new tailor. We have another character Manek Kola. Manek Kola is a college student and he is from North India. Uh, her father run, runs a grocery shop in his village. After completing his education, uh, she took admission in a college in the subject of refrigeration and air conditioning. Manek goes to college and initially stays in, host in hostel. The condition of the hostel was so much suffocating that he could not live there properly. Though he makes friendship with Obinas and spend some of the time after playing chess, but uh, to him the hostel life seemed a uh, imprisonment. Somehow he always tried to come out from this circumcised condition, from this consternation. But after Obina's death, on him comes down humiliation and ragging. As a result, he decides to leave the college hostel. His mother makes arrangement for him to stay at the house of Dina Dalal. So here we are just uh, coming into the point of conjunction where the characters will meet with each other. So far we come to know that uh, the Dorji or the tailors, Omprakas and Ishwar are searching their job. At the same time, Dina Dalal is searching for tailor and uh, Manek is searching for a safe home. So we will find that all the characters will come together and then all the storyline will also uh, take a further step to its uh, culmination. So this was the first part of this novel, A Fine Balance. Uh, we will have a second part, that means I will upload another video of this novel and hope that you will enjoy this novel so thank you thank you once again for watching this video thank you